119 machine you can see Tim earning the badger who needs more power on the mini twin I do we felt he let himself down he let me down he just let a lot of people down we were disappointed it was a disgrace absolute disgrace I'm surprised he's been allowed back to be honest Thank you, Sheikh Diary, 7th of September 24. Um, it's Ella Park now for the uh, final round of Fab Racing Mark Team. Um, we been looking at the practice uh, yesterday, results, and um, I'm going to have my work cut out to keep up with either of the old keeps. They've both gone quicker than I've ever gone like from last year. Um, but um, it was forecast the weather was, was dry today, but now it's 50% chance of rain so we've got some threatening clouds so first qualifying in about, about half an hour uh, so I'll, I'll see how we get on catch up later and get shit out after qualifying two not exactly sure where I am on the grid but I'm pleased uh, with the modifications I made uh, not nearly a second off my Q1 time I've got 57.3 uh, I think I could have gone quicker but uh, caught up with some traffic um, but basically I've moved my handlebars out a little bit further and um, it took 5mm off my pre-log so um, uh, rider sags 25mm um, felt, felt better so uh, see what happens in the first race and then it looks like we're going to have heavy rain overnight um, I'm not sure what will happen in the morning anyway I'll give you an update after the first race make a shit out It's 8th of September, uh, update from the race one yesterday, uh, wasn't as successful as I'd hoped um, but I was lucky to get away with not crashing. Um, so Marco Pandolfo uh, crashed on the first lap um, due to us having to go out with cold tyres because there'd been a red flag in the race before and we only got one warm-up lap. So everyone was on a bit sketchy on cold tyres. He crashed and in doing so snapped his brake lever which was in the middle of the track and the next time round uh, my front brake hit his brake lever and uh, I just managed to not crash and not run into the tyre wall so I lost two places I managed to take one back but uh, yeah I was sort of in no man's land um, I was hoping to try and tag on the back of the O'Keeffe's which are they're way ahead of me now but um, hopefully race two I'll just try and hold position and see if I can tag on and get some faster lap times uh, okay, I'll, I'll show you some uh, race footage and I'll speak to you later.
after third race, I didn't do one after the second race. So uh, second race, um, I was following Ben O'Keefe and just trying to stay with him. And then uh, he had a problem with his bike. I nearly rear-ended him and then ended up losing the place again. And then final race, uh, best race of the weekend, I managed to get into the 56ers, uh, chasing Malcolm Stain on his uh, Aprilia. I uh, didn't manage to get past him, but uh, certainly enjoyed it. Um, I'll put some clips of the, the races on, and um, see you next time. Mega shout out. Going out on the racetrack and having a fun time. There we see Flag Marshal Lee Clouds getting ready to send them on their way, and she does point to the lights. It's time to go racing. We go in race number two. The 65 gets a huge pop up off the line and there's problems. Two O'Keefe slow away from the line. I believe the number 11 had to get take some big avoiding action there as they came through. I believe it's Jack Van Eden that's leading the way now up at the front on the 17. What a crazy, crazy start we have just seen there as they fly their way down into the infield head for the first time. Both Harrison O'Keefe and Ben O'Keefe had big problems away when the red lights went out and it just caused chaos behind it. But it is Jacques Van Eden leading, but for how long? Because Will Howard is right on his tail and is already in the lead. Blinking, you missed it. Howard flies through with a textbook overtake. Lovely stuff from the 96. And now he can set on his way. It's Howard that leads overall. Jacques Van Eden in P2. Sean Whitaker, Rasta. 